Hi YouTube. Okay, so this video is going to be a little different, and I hope I'm talking loud enough. I apologize if I'm not. Um, I'm. It's kind of late where I am, and I'm trying not to wake up anybody else in my house. So if you can't hear me, please uh, wear headphones and turn up your volume. Okay, so this video is about a vision that God gave me. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but God does give visions. And uh, I mean, people all in the Bible, he gave visions to, and he still gives visions to people today. So this vision was last Thursday. So it was six days ago. And it happened to me while I was taking a nap. And the reason I know that it was a vision and not a dream is because of how I felt when I woke up from my nap. Because um, I, had a, I had a vision once where I actually like saw Jesus and it was also while I was sleeping but when I woke up from it, just like I knew and like the way I felt, it was like, no, 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 that wasn't a dream. That was real. Anyways, so, yeah. So this vision started out in, with me, and I was in what was, to me, like a clear elevator, you know, like those elevators that are glass, and you can just see through them and everything. And... When I was in this elevator, like, everything around me was kind of too faint to see. It wasn't exactly dark, but I just couldn't really see it that well. And, like, everything had sort of a blue light about it. Almost, um, almost like an LED, except it wasn't bright. And... Yeah, so like everything around me was in this blue light and including me and this elevator started to go up and when it stopped there was these clear doors that I went through and the second that I walked through the doors I was just like overwhelmed with everything. I was overwhelmed with how bright this room I walked into was and how it felt and it sounded. It was just like nothing I've ever experienced before. And so like I was in the blue light in the elevator and as soon as I walked into the room, I was like bathed in this warm light, just like a perfect sunny day, but times a thousand, you know? And the first thing I really noticed was um, the windows. I was in this room that was kind of like a kitchen, I think. And I say that because there was a kitchen in it and that was kind of like the only thing in it. But it was very spacious and the whole room, 360 degrees, was just windows. And when you looked out the windows, you could see the clouds and the sky and not like as if you were looking up at them but like they were eye level with me and they were so beautiful and the sky was just so blue it was just like the perfect blue you could ever want or imagine and um so I noticed that and then I noticed there was like music playing and it was like background music but it was praise music and I don't remember the song now but in the dream I knew the songs and then in front of me there was like in the center this kitchen and there was three people at the counter of this kitchen and the one girl at this counter was wearing a yellow shirt and I remember it so vividly because it was the brightest, most beautiful yellow I have ever seen, and 
I'm not even really a fan of yellow, so. <laughs> but it was just like, nothing this earth could make. Like, we can't produce that color of yellow. I don't know how to explain it. But I was very, like, I didn't feel afraid. I felt at home. I felt peaceful. And I also felt curious. So I was just kind of slowly walking around, you know, looking out the windows and then looking at the kitchen and like rounding to the people. And when it came to the people, they, one of them said, hi, Stephanie. And then I said, hi. And I know that all of them knew me and I knew them, but yet I didn't know them. Like, I woke up and I was like, I don't know who you people are, <laughs> you know? And so after that, like they were sitting around eating, they had been cooking or baking something. And so they were laughing and eating and talking and singing along to the music playing. And they like offered me a spoonful of whatever it was they were making and then we were all like laughing and singing and just having a good time and then I left them because I wanted to go look back out the windows because it was just such a great view and really this room reminded me of like a really nice penthouse you know and so I went to stand back and look out at this window again and the way like where I where I came in from from that weird blue elevator there was this just tiny little hallway almost like an entryway so you know it was like um, elevator and then a window just right there oh was that weird <laughs> and then a window just right there and then on this side was the people in the kitchen and so I kept looking out this window in between it and I was just like, wow, that is so beautiful. And I was just really encaptured by it. And I started singing the praise song that was playing. And then out of nowhere, I heard this tremendous thunder. And like, it was the scariest thunder I've ever heard. And I not only heard it, but I like felt it. I felt the shaking of this thunder and it scared me and then immediately after there was this huge lightning bolt that just went through the cloud and growing up I was really afraid of storms so <laughs> I was like oh I want to get out of here I do not want to see this but I felt something pushing me to keep looking at the window even though I was afraid and so I did and when I did the cloud like became see-through it didn't part it didn't go away but I was able to see through the cloud and I looked down and I saw the most horrifying just like I saw living terror basically and what I saw was just just like smoke everywhere blackness darkness and fire so I looked down I think it was earth and there were just there was just nothing left except for people and these creatures and so these these people that were down there were all running around frantically and they were screaming and they were hysterical and they were crying and like I felt their fear I felt how scared they were and how bad they wanted to escape and how bad they wanted help and I kept watching and every time that yeah the through this whole thing the thunder was continuous it was like you know how uh, when you shake the camera like that that's how 
what I was looking at looked. Like it looked like something was just sitting there shaking it. And I heard the thunder and then there would be huge bolts of lightning and as soon as they would hit the ground it would burst into this huge uh, fire. And so I'm seeing these people run around and then there's these shadowy huge creatures that are chasing them and they are like flying over them almost I don't know almost like hovering I guess maybe and I locked on to this one person and um, the creature was like right over them and I couldn't hear the creature but I knew it had asked this person a question because the person responded and said, no, I cannot, I can't deny him, Jesus is Lord. And as soon as the person said Jesus is Lord, this creature killed them instantly. Like, chopped their head off, just instantly. And I was horrified. And so I looked away to another side and then I saw a row of crosses and I can't remember how many crosses exactly but I can like picture the group still and it was probably between five and eight crosses and on each of the crosses there was a person hanging on the cross except for the one in the middle and that one had almost like a spotlight on it like it was illuminated more than the other crosses around it and I just knew that that was the cross that Jesus had been crucified on and I knew that these creatures chasing these people were just enraged that the cross was empty and I knew that they were hurting these people and killing these people, trying to put one of them on the cross. Like, they just didn't want that cross to be empty. They hated, they hated that Jesus, you know, he was crucified on the cross and he rose on the third day. They just couldn't stand that he wasn't dead. And so, uh, I kind of looked uh, on some more and then I was like I have to do something I have to try and help them and so I looked around and I found a rope and I don't know why a rope but a rope and then I ran over to this floor to the floor and it was like wood flooring and for some reason it had a hatch in it so I lifted up the hatch and I looked through it and I could see like straight down to earth and I threw down the rope and I would I was like shouting at these people running by trying to tell them grab the rope you know I'll pull you up I'll save you because I knew I knew let me back up a little bit when when I was looking at the scene on the earth and it would scare me I would look back over at the people in the kitchen and just be like you guys are totally unaware this is happening you're not affected you're not afraid anything and I would start singing the song and it would calm me down and I would feel better and I just knew by that that we were completely protected in this in this room that no way any of that the creatures the thunder the fire it just couldn't get to us and so, anyways, so I wanted to help these people, bring them up here and save them. And so, I got a person to sort of tie it around them, and I yelled down and I said, um, say that Jesus is Lord and receive him in your heart, and you'll be saved. And they said, okay, and I started to pull them up, and right before they got to the top of the hatch, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something. When I started to pull them up, they kind of became engulfed in that blue light that I had been in, in the elevator. And a 
as soon as they got just right almost at the hatch, the light went off of them and they sort of just disintegrated out of the rope and I looked down and I would see them land right back where they were and then they would look the same and they'd start running away and being chased by a creature again and I did this I think two or three times and I started crying and I just felt so hopeless and you know I felt this terror these people were feeling and I heard a voice say you can't do anything for them they made their choice and I knew it was God and so I just sort of sat back and said what can I do and God said tell them and boom I woke up so when I woke up I was shaking like I don't know if you all have ever gone in really really cold water and how your body just sort of involuntarily shakes everywhere but that's what it was like and I was sweating and I was like panting for breath as if I had been running so um, that's how I know that it was not uh, a dream because I've had bad dreams and I've you know I've woken up from nightmares but it never felt like that and as I said uh, at the beginning of the video I had a vision of Jesus once and when I woke up from that I felt the exact same feeling so um, yeah after waking up I was just sort of asking God like what was that was it a dream or a vision and he said it was a vision and I was like okay and I was trying to figure it out and like what, what does it mean what do you want me to do and I was like I want something from the Bible to put with this and just like the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said Luke 11 now this video is getting pretty long so I'm gonna have to cut it off but I might make a part two. Anyways, um, you can look up Luke 11 if you want. There isn't anything in there that describes what I saw, but um, anyways, I just wanted to make this video to let you all know, whoever is watching, that Jesus is real, God is real, heaven is real, and so is hell, and so is the devil. And if you do not receive Jesus as your savior, you will be just like those people I saw running in terror with no hope, only fear. So I hope that you decide to give your life to Jesus and save your soul. Thanks for watching.